Hi, I'm Miss Katie from the Highland Square Branch Library, and I'm here now to talk to you about your Yummy Gingerbread House Kit. So if you're tuning into this video, that means that you went to the library and you picked up one of these kits. You'll see some behind me. They could be in a brown bag or they could be in a white bag. And you have your supplies now to make your own unique individual gingerbread house. Now, inside of your bag, you're going to notice one thing. Um, there's no gingerbread in there. It's actually graham crackers. So I just call it a gingerbread house because it um, can paint a picture in your mind of, of something similar of what you'll be creating. So your base for your structure will be graham crackers. Now, you can make this whatever you want it to be. It does not need to be a house. It could be a school. It could be, you know, um, a lodge. It could be a um, apartment building. It could be a zoo. It can be, um, I don't know, uh, NASA space station. It could be whatever you want it to be. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to use the different items in the bag to kind of help identify and place what it is that you're creating. So um, some of the other things you'll find in your bag are going to be like candies, like here's some candy canes and, you know, some um, Teddy Grahams and all sorts of other things too. Um, something very important that you're going to find in your bag is going to be your frosting. Now your frosting is going to be used to help basically stabilize your graham crackers. Um, you're going to want to find a large plate or else it's, it's helpful to have a flat surface. So it might work best for you to take a piece of cardboard from a box and cut it so you kind of have like a, a flat plate and maybe cover it with um, tin foil if you have that handy. And then use that flat surface to build up on your structure. Now, before you open any of these items, though, and start working with them, I do want to recommend that you wash your hands. Use soap and wash them really well. So if while you're working you want to be snacking, you have clean, washed hands while doing so. All right, so you're going to take your frosting and you're going to take your graham crackers and you're going to create a structure. Um, a tip you can choose to use or to not use or experiment is I traditionally um, mix with my frosting some powdered sugar. Um, I have a bag over here. Let me go grab it. Okay, so this isn't in the kit, um, but at your house you may already have some. Um, and it could be called confectioner sugar. I call it powdered sugar. And if you mix this stuff in with your frosting, what it's going to do is it's going to make your frosting thicker. And that thicker consistency you might find to be more effective in stabilizing your graham cracker pieces as you're creating your shape that you're building. Um, you could try not using it though too and see how it works for you. Um, and then also I suggest looking around your house and seeing what items you have at home that might work really well to add to your structure you built to help identify it so um, it makes it more unique and special. Uh, maybe you know you have some tiny animal figurines that you want to put on. Or maybe you have some pretzel sticks that would work really well to kind of have like a, lo like a log cabin look. Or, you know, uh, maybe you have cereal items that would look really great uh, as a repeated pattern for, like, shingles. I mean, there's all sorts of different things that you can use um, for this. So don't feel limited by just what I provided you in the kit. Okay? And then after you've made your structure, I want to ask you to either save it for our show and tell time when we're going to gather together during Zoom and a Zoom meeting and then you can show me and talk to me about your um, what you made your gingerbread house. Um, when we used to do the live programs, my favorite part was walking around and seeing what everybody made and listening to you tell me all about your creation because people were so inventive. Um, and then um, if you aren't able to hold off on eating it until our show and tell meeting, um, I suggest you could take a picture of it and print it to share with me, or you could draw a picture of it or write a notes about it. Um, 
and then share with me that to talk to me about your gingerbread house structure in case it doesn't make it to the time when we gather together. Also, I want to let you know, while you're working with these materials, there's a good chance that you're going to run into some problems. Maybe, you know, your wall will fall down or something's not going to want to stay exactly how you want it to. That's okay. It's part of the creative process, you know, trying new things, seeing how they work, and trying something new. Maybe you need to walk away, take a break, listen to a story, come back and try again. Or maybe you want it to be a beautiful oops and how it was destroyed or altered or changed actually is pretty awesome because you can reinvent it into something new. So just keep those thoughts in mind when you um, come into a challenge while working with the materials, all right? Okay, well, have fun. I look forward to learning about your gingerbread structures that you're making. All right, thank you. Bye.